Um, yeah, so we've done a firmware update, uh, which is all about the Bluetooth. We've got our Bluetooth headset out and the FT300 here. So let's uh, let's have a little play and see what see what they're on about. FXB. So in um, Yesu's new firmware update for the FT300, uh, December 2020, they most of the contents was to do with Bluetooth. So I thought I'd do a video and have a look at the Bluetooth. I've never used Bluetooth on the 300 before. What I did get was this SMBT1 free with my FT3. So this is what it looks like. It's quite a neat little unit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, turn it on and then we're gonna connect it up and see what happens. So we'll just turn it on for now. And when it does come on, it normally beeps or flashes. So the last time I turned it on quite a while ago, it might need charging. I just held down this little phone thing. It's not, oh, there it goes. Okay, it's flashing now. I'm guessing that that is flashing because it wants to be connected to something. So uh, let's go in the settings of this of the of the FTM 300. So I've never done it before, so let's just try it. We'll just turn it down for now. We're gonna hold down the F button and we're gonna go to Bluetooth once we find where it is. Okay, so we found it in option, which is highlighted in red here. We're gonna select it. it says Bluetooth. Let's see if I can get rid of the glare a bit. Um, let's hit the, um, the top right volume or channel changer. So it says Bluetooth's on. Device blue stack. Not really sure what that means. Maybe that's a device that was previously connected. So I'm guessing that it was before. Back. Let's have a quick look. It is turned on. So I think what we'll do in the bit where it said blue stack, we're gonna select and then we're gonna go, we're gonna try and get it to search. Let's see how we do that. So we'll push the knob and then it looks like we need to push the F button. Then we can turn the knob to search. So we're currently searching. Let's see what it finds. We didn't find anything that time. What we're going to do though, we're going to turn it and we're going to delete what was in there before okay so we hit the F button turn to search we've got the um, Bluetooth device flashing away here let's hit search again okay it's found it this time so that's the device there. So let's uh, select that. Sorry, I'm a bit wobbly. Right, it's not letting me select it with this. I'll just hit the F button, see if it does anything. No, so I've got a feeling we can go back now and then connect to it. So we'll go back and we'll hit the F button again. We've gone on to connect, and now we'll, we'll hit the top right knob, connect. Let's see if it connects. You think it would, being that it's um, recommended for the Yesu FT3. No, it's just flashing at the moment. It's... So it now went back on its own to this. It's showing the device model and it's showing the status as connected. So let's turn it up and I'll tell you if we can hear anything from the headset. 
I could hear something. I'm just going to turn it up on the side of the Bluetooth unit. There's an up and down volume here. So we're going to push that all the way up to full volume. And then I'll let you know what it sounds like. M0 FXB. Yeah, hi, Mike. Uh, we've probably met. It's Andreas in... Uh, it... Yeah, hi, Mike. Yeah, we've probably met. It's Andreas located southwest UK. I'm just on an FT300 testing out the uh, an SSM BT10 Bluetooth. Um, so you're sounding nice and clear. Um, let me know what my audio is like. Yeah, it can be adjusted, but you're nice and clear. So your hotspot is doing well. Back to you. Yes, yeah, so we had a contact there. I'm not used to pushing the... Um, this little telephone button when you transmit so I did forget <laughs> a couple of times he didn't say the audio was great he just said it was okay to me on in the earpiece the audio was fine um, so I'm just gonna because apparently you can um, change the setting on this so that you can listen on the Bluetooth and the speaker of the radio at the same time so that's the one I want to I want to see right so what we're gonna do now is go back into the Bluetooth so it was hold down the F option. Okay. Um, so let's go back into the F. Then options. Bluetooth. Now someone's told me if I set something here to fix. Yeah, I've just done it. Enter that to fix. Then back out. And what you can do, and I think I can hear it already, is you can hear um, on the earpiece and the speaker at the same time. So let's just wait for someone to talk. Hi. So um, here we are. It's definitely um, doing both. I can hear the Bluetooth in my earpiece, and I can hear the uh, the audio coming through. Um, I'm on, um, I've actually cross-moded it using an open spot into, um, into Brandmeister. So, take my word for it, I can hear it on both. So, not sure of the benefit of that, I suppose. Yeah. It means, uh, I don't know, really, someone can sit at the shack and listen to my radio. And though I could, and though I could move away from the radio um, with my Bluetooth unit and chat away. So yeah. Anyway, it has worked. Just going to look at the firmware update and see what else they said it's done. An audio selection has been added to the Bluetooth setting menu to designate the audio output destination when a Bluetooth is connected. Bluetooth setting menu audio. When audio is selected, an audio is output from the Bluetooth headset. When fix is selected, audio is output from the Bluetooth headset and transceiver. Other functions have improved or optimized. So there you go. So yeah, well, we've, uh, we've tested it. It's working fine. So hope this uh, video is interesting. Please subscribe. M0FXB73. When I turn the Bluetooth on, which I've just done, I need to go back out of that. When I go back into the menu, you have to select the F. Go to disconnected. You have to reconnect, but as, which it just did automatically. But once you reconnect and someone speaks, you don't miss anything. You know the the you can still listen to the to the actual radio whilst it's connecting, and you don't miss anything. So I get that. So I think that was uh, that is an improvement.